Hello? Okay, my voice is good now. Is someone seriously carrying a bin down the stairs right now? Okay. Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. Today I'm coming at you guys with a video which you've probably been waiting for. I know there's a lot of people out there who are a little bit confused at the moment, so I'm here to uh, settle the confusion. I guess I'll start by introducing this new brand. Some of you may have seen on my Instagram that I have been talking a lot about EJS Apparel. And a lot of people have been very confused about that, wondering what the heck is going on. Especially when I haven't really, I've just been dropping hints, I haven't actually formally, properly address anything. So that's why I'm here today. So, EJS Apparel, what is it? Well, you guys know that I bought out some merchandise last summer, which was the whole Make Someone Smile brand. And that was a very spontaneous, spirit of the moment thing for me. I didn't really realize how much, like I thought I would sell like 10 hoodies if I was lucky. I sold 77 hoodies. And then I went on to bring out t-shirts and bucket hats and crewnecks and it became quite a big thing, quite a lot bigger than I was anticipating. And I felt quite restricted by the whole make someone smile thing. I felt like I had to include that in every single, <clears throat> oh my goodness, my voice, I apologize. I felt like I had to put that make someone smile stamp on every single thing I was bringing out. And as much as I loved that brand, it was just very, it didn't really leave enough room for me to be creative and bring out things that weren't directly related to that whole saying. So yes, it is still a thing. I will still probably bring out Make Someone Smile stuff, but it will be under EGS Apparel so that I have a little bit more room to be creative and stuff. So as you'll see in this t-shirt I'm wearing right now, see it has a smile, but then it also has EGS Apparel. So it's a bit more legitimate, if you will. Although it says apparel, it's not just going to be apparel, it's going to be other items, which you'll see in a second. I got questions of why EJS, so my full name is Emma Jane Stevens, so that's where it kind of came from. And I want to put it all together just so it looked like sleek. That was my thought process behind that whole brand. I have been in the works with this since July. I'm just going through like making the designs because I, you guys know nothing's changed. I still do this all myself apart from obviously I don't embroider the t-shirts myself. Leave that to the professionals. So although the brand isn't make someone smile, there will still, like you'll see in a second, there's still traces of that make someone smile brand throughout the products. So I guess before I get into anything else, I do need to show you guys these new products. So this I'm wearing right now is the EJS Apparel Original Smile Tee. And this one I'm wearing a medium, but just because I prefer that sort of oversized fit at the moment. So normally I'm a true size 8, size small, but I have sized up just so it's a little bit more relaxed fitting. This t-shirt is more of like a slouchy sort of fit, so the bottom of it is got like a curve at the bottom rather than just being straight cut. It's more ideal for like tucking into shorts or jeans or whatever and I, I literally have been living this t-shirt. We're away in the camper van at the moment, hence why I'm recording this in a hotel room. But I've literally worn this so much the last like 10 days. It's been like my go-to. It's really nice and lightweight and you can like put like a jumper over the top or wear it with jeans, wear it with shorts, wear it with tights. Very versatile so. That's the first piece. Second is this top here. So this is actually navy blue. It kind of looks probably a little bit black, but it is navy blue. I wear this one in a size small, and this has the tri smile design on it. So this is another design that I came up with. I like this one because it's more, it's more like kind of subtle a little bit. Next up is this tee here. So this is called the spread positivity tee because Look at that, it says spread positivity. And you'll notice that is a subtle hint to the original Make Someone Smile brand. It's got the sunshine on it. And that again is just nice and subtle on the chest. I actually have to, I've actually worn this one at large because I'll talk about it in a second, but um, some of the stock for this is on back order. I've only got extra large and large in stock of this at the moment, but there will be the small size that's coming through in the new year, but I'll talk about that in a second. These two t-shirts here are more of like a square cut at the bottom, as you can see, they just go like straight across. Then we have this crew neck, which I have been living in this, and it is a... I'm really embarrassed, I haven't had a chance to wash it. It's a little bit grubby, but I'm pushed for time. I'm in a hotel, I've been living in a camper van for the last 10 days, so please bear with me. But this is just a plain EJS Apparel crew neck. This is literally the fluffiest material. I did upsize to a medium in this, so it's a little bit more of an oversized fit. Absolutely love this. It goes with literally anything. I wore it hiking, I've worn it out for a sophisticated brunch, I've worn it to the supermarket, I've worn it in so many situations already in the last 10 days. Unbelievable, I know. I did kind of get this as an oversized sort of thing, so even like a small does fit kind of oversized. I love this one, it's so cozy. Okay, 
moving on and this is the last garment so this is EGS apparel limited edition summer hood it's kind of like a gold orange yellowy sort of color also in this video you'll get the true color of these garments on the website they do have like slight filters on them so if you want the true colors this is where you're seeing them so I wear this one in a medium and it has the EGS apparel like blind embroidered their tone on tone on the front in like an orangey color so that's the same sort of size embroidery is on this one and then on the back this has the tri smile design that's on the navy blue tee so this is kind of like um an updated version of the make someone smile hoodies i bought out last summer this is the same style hoodie except obviously it has different designs but it's a different color it's nice and fleecy on the inside which is always nice i feel like this is just perfect because it just adds that little bit of um pop of color to your wardrobe which i this year have become a little bit monotone with my fashion so yeah, this kind of saves the day a little bit. And I love this golden color. It's very nice. So this next product is backed by popular demand. Last time I bought it out, you guys loved it. I ended up having to restock once, twice, once. No, just once. I ended up selling over 150 of them, which is insane. So I bought it back, but I put a little bit of a twist on it. So you may remember this bad boy. So this is actually my lanyard that I used at university. Obviously it doesn't have the university keys on it now because I don't live there. But yeah, the original traditional make someone smile lanyard. And you guys, I get messages pretty much every single week asking, when are you bringing it back? Are they coming back in stock? Are you gonna like restock? All these sorts of questions. And I was like, you know what, let's have a go. So when I originally bought these out, I wanted to do them in three colors. In the early stages, I had to pick one color just because of like production and stuff. So I went with black. You guys loved it. So I decided to bring it back, but I decided to bring it back with a twist. Introducing the white make someone smile lanyard. So this is exactly the same as this, except the colors are like inverted with the text and the actual lanyard. This lanyard was like amazing. So many people actually ended up buying these at university, which is quite funny, but everyone who had them loved them. They're honestly such good quality. I'm not just saying this because I want you to buy them. Like they're actually really good quality. They have the trigger clip on the end as well, which is good for like attaching like keys ID card, whatever you may like. I thought this would be a good time to bring it out as well with people starting school next year, starting university. I know a lot of teachers who follow me were waiting for these, so hang out for them. So here you go. That is $12 as well. I bought them back at the exact same price that they were when I bought out the black ones. The black ones won't be available, but this new white one will be, and I won't be restocking these, but yeah, I have plenty of these, so there you go. Okay, now these next three products are something that is a little bit different. You guys do know about one of them, but I never really confirmed if I was going to go ahead with it. I did ask for you guys feedback on Instagram about it and I ended up going ahead with it. Kind of when I was asking for you guys feedback, it was basically just to make sure that enough people were interested and I was absolutely overwhelmed with people who were interested. So I think I ended up having over a hundred people reply to me and just like basically say that they, they were down for it. I guess I'll introduce that product first. So beholding the church notes book. So when I asked you guys for feedback on Instagram, I did give you two designs. So there was this one, which just has the nice simple cross with the church writing. And then the other one was like a watercolor type thing with a big cross. But I personally preferred this one and this one ever so slightly was more preferred by you guys. So I ended up going with this. Originally I did show it in a pink color, but I went for an orange just because it's a bit more unisex. When you open it up on the first page, it has a little Bible verse which says, and whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So it's just nice there on like a title page. When you open it, as soon as you just flip that page, it gets straight into the notes area. Basically to put this together, I ha I currently do have a church notes book and it was so expensive for me to buy. It came from America. I think it was close to like $40, which is just a little bit, a little bit extra. So I wanted to make this affordable for you guys. I kind of took the idea from the one I've currently got, but there were a lot of things about it that I just didn't really like and that I would change if I was to do it myself. So I'm like, hey, now's my chance. Let's do it. On the first page, it has space for the speaker, like who's speaking the message, then the name of the message, and then the 10 little lines for verses, and the date that the sermon was delivered. I created it so it's like a double page, and it sits side by side, so this is like the first page, this is the second page, and you have tons of space for notes. I'm someone where if I just take down, I take down so many notes, it's probably quite bad, but I'm one of those people where I get halfway through writing the sentence and I forget what I'm actually writing, and then it doesn't really end up making sense at the end of it. Yeah, so it has these double page spreads, and there's enough space for 60 of these so I kind of left it so that you have like 52 for 52 weeks in the year so one per week and then there's like a few extras if you watch extra ones online during the week and stuff it can actually fit 61 but the last page is just 
like a single page. The last two products I'm going to show at the same time because they are very similar. So these ones I've had the designs for, I've been working on them since July and I'm so excited, like seeing them in the flesh is so exciting. So this one and this one. So these are pad paper, so like tears off. Each one is 50 pages and this one is a to-do list and this one is a gratitude pad. So a to-do list um, basically says, what am I going to do today? You can circle the day, the date and the month. It has space for you to write down your tasks with little boxes, like little circles where you can tick it off. At the bottom it says how I made someone smile today and you just fill that in. So that is kind of just keeping it in tie with the whole make someone smile brand as well. And then it has a little thing down here for my daily water intake. So you're supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day. Do I do that? Not every day. But that's okay because this is here to hold you accountable. So as you drink a glass of water, you can just cross it off. Or if you drink like a bottle of water, I guess it's like two glasses. This is kind of like a leopard print theme um, with like the pink and stuff. So... There we go. And then to go with that one, I have this one here. So this is the grateful pad. So again, it has a space for the day, the date, and the month. And then it has some little sentence starters to just provoke those positive thoughts and to get you thinking in a positive frame of mind. So the first one is I'm grateful for, and then you have to list five things you're grateful for. I'm looking forward to, and then four things you're looking forward to either today, and the next month, and the next year. It can be whatever you want. This is, this is yours. Something that made me smile, so that's three things. And then what I did to make someone else smile, so that's two things. And then at the bottom it says how I'm feeling right now, and that's just obviously one feeling. So this is obviously more in time with the make someone smile sort of theme. So as you can see, it's got like the smile, like similar to the smile wallpaper if you guys saw those. It's kind of like a tessellating little design around the edge there. So these are both A5 size. They have 50 pages on them. They tear off like a notepad. And also I feel like these would be a really cute gift for like a sister, a grandma, a friend, a mum, yourself whatever so that is all the products that i have for you guys but i did want to talk about a little bit of the um background sort of type things so with the pink t-shirt as i said i only have this currently in size large and extra large so if you order it in a um, extra small small or medium your order will go through but they won't be sent out until mid-january so will, you will get a notification when it is sent out and if you order like say you order this and you say for example you order this this will be sent out like you won't have to wait to receive this until this is ready you'll get this first and then you'll get this later so in terms of shipping costs they will be calculated at checkout obviously if you're ordering smaller items it'll be much cheaper if you're ordering large items it'll be more expensive and with the international shipping as well that was also calculated at checkout and i do apologize in advance i have been absolutely attacked for the cost of the shipping but i actually run at a loss for those shipping costs it is so expensive especially at the moment with christmas time and covid and everything to send things overseas so yeah bear with me on that i do apologize for that I have not because the shipping costs have increased in the last couple weeks and I haven't increased the cost for you guys just because I don't want to make it even harder for you guys to get your hands on this stuff I don't really know what more else to say I I feel like I truly do feel like it's not fair that the shipping costs are often almost as much as the products that is not okay that doesn't really sit that well with me but then there's not really much else I can do I don't want to not give you guys option to buy things when you live overseas so yeah, I just had to find a solution. That was a solution I found. So I hope you guys understand. So that's the shipping out of the way. If you are familiar with my website, you'll know that when I release products, I donate a portion, like 10% or whatever of the profits to a charity. So I have worked with Youthline, Starship, Mind Health Project, I Am Hope. So it does something a little bit different for this next drop. So I've teamed up with Hope for a Village, which is actually an Australian-based charity. So as you can probably tell by the name, they um, give hope to people that live in villages. So they actually work with families in Fiji and so when you guys may know that my family we go to Fiji quite regularly and when we go over there we support a family over there and we take them clothes and what have you and that family is actually looked after by this Hope for a Village charity they help families as a whole as well as individual children so this family that we go see when we go on family holidays to Fiji they have this daughter called Emma and she was actually named after me because of the close connection we have with her family and Emma just entered this Hope for a Village children's program because she's studying kindergarten so Hope for a Village is looking for someone to sponsor Emma to basically pay for her uniform and stationery just to pay for her kindergarten supplies so I put my hand up and said hey I have this little organization business type thing that I'm running and I'd love for a portion of the proceeds from this to go towards sponsoring Emma. Rather than it being a percentage per product, it's just like at the end of whatever when it comes time to sponsor her, that money will come out of the profits. So I hope that kind of makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain because it's not really like a set profit per product. It's just like a 
some amount. If you have ordered from a website before, you may be familiar with the whole idea of how I write little letters to everybody. From my end, it's kind of hard to tell where the orders are placed under like the mum's name or the friend's name or whatever. So when you are placing order, if it's on behalf of someone, even if you get it sent under your name, if you could write, like there's a little note section, just write, say this is for blah, 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 and put the person's name in there. Just so when I'm writing the letter, I can personalize it to the person who's actually receiving the goods and that also comes into play with say you're ordering like say you and your pals are all ordering t-shirts if you want to put all of your names in the notes section so say one's for Hannah one's for Jessica one's for Amy I don't know just put your names in there and then I can make sure that you all get a little personalized letter but I guess that is all I just say I've been talking for way longer than I thought I was going to be so I'm sorry yeah I hope you guys like these products as much as I do I put a lot of time and effort into designing them so yeah so all these products will be live on my website on thursday the 10th of december at 6 p.m just a little side note as well if you're ordering one of these and this is all you're ordering you won't get a shipping confirmation email because to save you guys on shipping i don't send them in courier bags i just send them in an envelope so you they are on their way but you won't get an email to tell you that they're on their way if that makes sense but yeah thank you guys for watching thank you guys for your support um i obviously wouldn't be able to do this sort of stuff without you guys i never thought that when i started youtube i'd actually be here sitting here filming this sort of stuff like what the heck i was saying to mum yesterday we're actually in this hotel and I, we were in this hotel two and a half years ago when i had 300 subscribers and I thought that that was just like amazing and to have like 46,000 of you guys backing me now is just absolutely amazing so thank you guys for your support it really does mean the absolute world to me you guys are the reason that I can do what I do so yeah thank you for that stay safe stay well make someone smile and I'll see you guys in my next video <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice again I can't remember what I've called these things I can hear my parents coming, they're gonna come barging at the door in a second, bear with me.